only a minority of the 56 Commonwealth countries still recognize the British sovereign as their head of state, and the number is falling as the King Charles III era begins. The coronation may only just have passed, but he had been selected as the next head of the Commonwealth back in 2018. It is not a hereditary role. The heads of government of the 56 Strong Club of Independent Countries, founded in 1926 to keep with the times as the empire grew dated, are free to choose their ceremonial leader. The late Queen made it known she wished her son to succeed her in the role upon her death at a summit five years ago, a wish not a single member opposed. This balancing act between democratic sensibilities and historical tradition at the heart of the Commonwealth is the source of continual debate, detractors criticize its colonial past and lack of influence in the modern world, while its champions point to its cooperative ideals. But what did the Commonwealth look like at its peak? Who has already ditched the monarch as head of state, and who threatens to undermine the reign of the new King Charles? Stark contrasts between King Charles and Queen Elizabeth coronations, in pictures the late Queen was crowned in June 1953 and her coronation has been described as the last imperial hurrah. Here, Express.co.uk compares the two coronations, which took place almost 70 years apart, looking at the photographs from both historic occasions. Opinions aside, the Commonwealth is huge. Sprawling over a quarter of the world's a landmass and counting just under a third of its population at 2. 5 billion people, the Commonwealth has a combined GDP of 11 trillion pounds, smaller only than the US and China. While the group's unity continues to shine through, with 33 members represented in the Coronation Military Parade, agitation has been brewing in recent years. From the mid-19th century onwards, Crown dependencies such as Canada, South Africa and New Zealand were awarded increasing powers of self-governance. At the Imperial Conference of 1926 they were declared autonomous communities that were freely associated as members of the British Commonwealth of Nations. Membership initially entailed pledging allegiance to the British sovereign, but rising nationalist movements forced a revision of this policy. After India, the group's most populous member, announced its intention to become a republic after independence in 1947, the requirement was dropped, as was British from the name. Today, King Charles III is the head of state of just 15 Commonwealth realms, Antigua and Barbuda, Australia, the Bahamas, Belize, Canada, Grenada, Jamaica, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, St. Kitts, and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, the Solomon Islands, Tuvalu and the UK. Five others have their own monarch, Lesotho, Eswatini, Brunei Darussalam, Malaysia and Tronga, but the rest are republics. Barbados was the last country to shed its ties to the monarchy, doing so in November 2021. The past few years have seen calls to follow suit echoed throughout the Caribbean. A royal visit by the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, now the Prince and Princess of Wales, drew crowds of protesters demanding an apology and reparations for the monarchy's role in the slave trade in Belize and Jamaica. The Republican movement in Australia has been gaining steam for years, its central bank announcing in February that the king wouldn't feature on its new $5 note. Only five countries have ever taken the extra step of leaving the Commonwealth altogether, three of which since rejoined. Ireland was the first, cutting ties with the dwindling empire with which it shared a bloody history back in 1949. South Africa withdrew in 1961 amid criticism over apartheid but rejoined in 1994. 
Pakistan's military coup in 1999 saw them suspended until 2004, and again between 2008 and 2009. The Maldives left in 2016, the last country to do so, but rejoined four years later. In 2003, Zimbabwe's long-term autocrat Robert Mugabe pulled his country out after the group suspended its membership in 2003 over suspected election rigging. Other countries without any history of colonial rule have opted to join the Commonwealth over the past few decades. Cameroon and Mozambique, formerly under French and Portuguese rule respectively, both acceded to the group in 1995. A former colony of Germany and Belgium, Rwanda was admitted in 2009 despite the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative CHRI, finding its state of governance and human rights to be substandard. The most recent countries to join were Gabon and Togo, two former French dependencies, doing so in June 2022.